Good morning, Brushy Fork. I'm sorry we couldn't meet together this morning, but the, the snow has uh, piled upon us more than we expected it to. Uh, but I did want to share with you something this morning to encourage your heart. And so let's look at Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 says, Come, now let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. It's a great passage of scripture for this morning because it reminds us of the contrast. Reminds us of the contrast of the fact that uh, by God's grace and uh, through the, the gift of his son, uh, though our sins were as scarlet, uh, think about that, uh, that color, uh, the color of, of blood. Um, I don't know if you've ever gotten blood on a t-shirt that is white, but oftentimes that t-shirt is not the same anymore. It's hard to get that color out of uh, pure white. But uh, Isaiah, the prophet, tells us that one day God is going to cleanse us. Uh, Isaiah is hopefully looking forward to that day, but Isaiah tells us that he's going to cleanse us. Though we are like scarlet, uh, they shall be as white as snow. We as sinners uh, bear the, the cost of uh, blood. Uh, we see that from Genesis chapter 3 and the fact that uh, once Adam and Eve sinned, uh, then God sacrificed an animal. And, and through that sacrifice, he spilled its blood, showing that there was a great cost to that sin. And then God took that animal skin and made clothes for Adam and Eve, uh, showing us uh, the deep cost of sin. It cost that animal its life. And ultimately, Jesus is going to be the, the final lamb. He's going to be the final sacrifice. And Jesus is the one uh, who we all are, are stained by that scarlet. We all need blood to cover us. And uh, Jesus is the one that that sheds his blood for us and his blood covers us. And, and through God's amazing grace, he wipes us white as snow. Outside is a beautiful sight because uh, the snow uh, is pure white. Uh, it's just a phenomenal uh, thing that we see. And it just reminds us that God has been gracious to us. We as believers, after Jesus has come, know exactly how Jesus fulfills this promise. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. It's only through the blood of Jesus, it's only through uh, Christ's cleansing power that uh, our sins can be forgiven. Today, uh, we should be hopeful. Uh, we are reminded through God's great and mighty grace that uh, uh, our sins have been given if we've claimed the name of Jesus. If we've asked him to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, the Bible tells us that he is faithful to answer that prayer. Uh, today, I want you to be encouraged. As you look outside, remember, uh, you are stained crimson, but Jesus has wiped you white as snow. If you know him as your personal savior, that promise is for you. If you don't know him as your personal savior, then uh, today is the day of salvation. Today, uh, though your sins be as scarlet, they can be as white as snow. Would you place your faith in Jesus? Would you ask him to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness? Would you ask Jesus to wipe that blight of sin from your life, that, that stain of that has stained you, would you ask him to cleanse you and make you white as snow? This morning we were reminded of that great truth from scripture and I'm so thankful for it. I also want to remind you that next week, uh, instead of this week being Sanctity of Human Life, we'll carry that over and we'll have our Sanctity of Human Life Sunday next week. So we look forward uh, to that. Uh, you come out and see us on Sunday. Uh, church at 10.30, uh, Sunday school at 9.30, and we look forward to worshiping together next week. God bless you, and have a great snow day today.